Well, good morning and welcome to CBS News Mornings. It's almost seven o'clock here on the East Coast in New York City. I'm Anne Marie Green and here's a look at the stories grabbing our attention right now. Russia has ramped up its bombardment of Ukrainian cities this morning, extending its assault to communities beyond the front lines. So we'll have an update on daily life inside the war-torn country and new plans to cripple Russia's economy. Plus, we're going to take a closer look at why the passage of one of a rather new $1.5 trillion spending bill by U.S. lawmakers is good news for Ukraine, but it may be bad news for COVID-19 funding. And today actually marks two years since health officials declared COVID a pandemic. This morning, we'll take a look back at where we started and how we progressed in the global response. And our Money Watch team continues an extensive coverage of skyrocketing energy costs. This morning, industry experts weigh in on why Russia is throwing off the global energy market despite only producing just 10% of the world's oil. The answer may surprise you. Plus, we have a sneak peek of this week's 48 Hours episode, The Poisonous Wife. I'm Peter Van Sant, 48 Hours. A renowned snake breeder is found dead by his wife. The culprit wasn't a snake, but the killer was cold-blooded. That's coming up on CBS News. So Ukraine is facing a catastrophic disaster in several cities now under siege as Russia increases